What's up everybody, it's Mark from 403 Fauna. Welcome to another Wire Wednesday. Wire is short for what's in your rack, where every Wednesday I like to share with you what's been going on in my rack for the past week. Now I gotta tell you that I just got a brand new snake in. Honestly, this is the last snake I'll be adding for a while, unless that blackhead genetic stripe from Adam at Proper Royals hatches out soon. I don't wanna count my snakes before they hatch, but that will be the last edition for this year. But as far as the one today, let's have a little contest. The first person that can guess three of the five potential genes in the snake in the comment below will get a shout out on this Sunday's vlog. So besides that, I wanted to run through my entire collection. Obviously, I won't be able to do that in one video. So what I'll do is I'll break it up into the racks that I have in my collection. I have five of them. So the first one we'll look at today, that one right there. But let's take a look at the new snake. Make your guesses below and good luck. A little clue about that snake before we take a look in the rack here. She has three incomplete dominant genes, two of them that can make a white snake. She's het for another gene and 50% possible het for the final gene. So good luck on the guessing there. Now let's take a look at this rack. This is a SoCal Scales made rack. They are a pet store local here to San Diego. And this is the Freedom Breeder 70 tubs. And there's a total of eight of them. So all the snakes that I have in here are females. Not all of them are breeder size yet, but I made the transition with them. And of course, you're probably familiar with some of these if you've watched my channel at all. Top rack here is Jules. She is a pastel, double hat, VPI azanthic puzzle. Now she's been breeding with Tony. Tony, however, he's been on a pretty long food strike. He's finally gotten back on food but I'm a little worried about him. Last time I put him with her, they didn't lock. So either this girl has absorbed her follicles or Tony's at the end of his rope. So I've decided to stop pairing them until he's back in condition or if, you know, maybe if he got the job done already. But let's keep our fingers crossed there because some leopard pastel VPI Xanthic puzzles would be pretty awesome. Okay, slot two is dedicated to Junebug. She is a pastel, double het, ghost ultramel. And she's been bred to Jorel. Jorel is a Mojave Krypton het ultramel. So 25% chance I'll get ultramels here and they'll all be 100% for either clown or cryptic. And I think she's gonna go, she's on the cool side right now. Super excited about this pairing. Slot three, we have Momo. Momo is a black pastel calico. This is a 403 Fauna production. She was produced in 2012. And she laid for me last year. And she's definitely gonna go for me again this year. She's even bigger than last year. Cool seeking. And she was bred to Jorel, the Mojave Krypton Het Ultramel as well. Because Black Pastel and Clowns are an awesome combination. So let's get you back in there, Momo. She, she'll definitely eat right now if I had a rat. So we're going to keep her in the tub. Okay, number four, we have Sasha. Sasha is the Cinnamon Hypo Het Genetic Stripe. And you know what? I, I don't want to mess with her. She's been eating like crazy. And I bet you if I threw a male in with her, she would lock up with that male if I had a, the appropriate male. But I don't with her right now. And I don't want to breed just to breed. So I'll just get her huge for next season. Up next, we have Chloe. Chloe is a piebald, and she ate for the first time in a long time yesterday. And 
all of my snakes, you, if you recall, a few weeks ago, I made a video on all of my snakes that are at the wall. They've all started eating again. And the trick that I've done with them is I fed them rat pups or wean rats. So really small rats live, but they've taken them. So I'm happy with that. And she's another one that we're gonna grow up for next year. I think I'm gonna go for desert ghost pieds. Okay, slot number six. We have Tigra. Oh, and you know what? This is the mama of my last clutch and she's currently in that post eat like crazy mood. So I'm not even gonna get close to her. I just fed her a couple days ago and she already wants to eat again, but I'm putting her on a once a week feeding schedule. And she is a vanilla ember, 100% head hypo. Okay, this one, I gotta warn you, it's a mess because there's some breeding going on in here and they've been locked for three days already. And this is, again, apologies for the mess. So we've got Venus, the pastel highway, along with Paul, the ivory ball python. And as you can see, they are locked right now. So this potential clutch will be all ivories and highways, which is pretty cool. Honestly, the highway project isn't something I'm oops, too big about, but I would like to keep a mail because I want to make some super gravels. Okay, I hope I didn't mess up their vibe there. Okay, last one. So this one right here is Tatsumaki, and she is a hurricane female from Gray's Reptiles. Hurricane is really awesome. Look at this pattern. She's been slamming rats. She's probably around 1,000 gram mark and she's still going. So I'm just gonna feed her once a week and get her ready for next season too. And I'm gonna go desert ghost with her. And that is rack number one. Thank you for joining me on this week's video. Stay tuned to the vlog on Sunday for the identification of the latest team member here at 403 Fauna. Be sure to guess below to get a shout out on that video. Have a great week, everybody. Take care, be safe.